All right, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. This is the bottom of my 74 Dark Sport truck lid. And I've got it final primed as much as it's gonna get. I'm gonna shoot some paint on here today. I wanna see what the color looks like. And I figured the bottom of the trunk lid would be a good test panel. I don't care if it's ugly or not because it's the bottom of the trunk lid. So let me show you what paint I got. This is the Eurochem Silk Base Blu-ray Metallic Base Coat. I bought the entire kit. Comes with a gallon of base. Mixes two to one with their reducer. Uh, and they're clear. Clear comes in a gallon. You get a quart of activator. I think it's four to one. Uh, all that jazz for $244.99. So that was... Uh, a cheap date and I figured if I mess it up I'll buy more but that should be kind of what the color looks like when we're done let me get to mixing here going two to one on the base good bad or ugly here we go Trying to go light, light here. On that first coat. Okay. One more time down there. Oh yeah, if the paint doesn't fall off, it's gonna look good. Try for coat number two, we're running out of daylight here. The last time y'all got on to me for cocking my paint gun. We won't try to do that as much this time. Catch that wet edge, see? And for clear, instead of opening my new gallon of their stuff, which is their urethane 2K MS Poly uh, clear and activator. I'm gonna use this one that I opened the other day. And I did that uh, little Honda car with. The blue is actually turning out pretty nice. I'm gonna do one more coat on it, the drop coat as they call it. There's not a lot of metallic in this paint, but it's really fine. 
and I've been, been studying more on uh, just what to do with that. Let's see what they say. 75% overlap is best for lighter colored pearls and metallics at a gun distance of eight to 10 inches. Uh, my gun's got a 1.5 millimeter tip set at 24 to 32 PSI with the trigger pull. Uh, so I'm gonna probably go 24. Uh, ah, I hate to. I'll go 24 PSI and uh, about 10 inches away. So I had a, where'd he go? So there's my speed square. I'm just trying to figure out like that can of paint is 10 inches tall. So that's pretty far away for, in my opinion, but I think that's what it kind of lets the uh, metallics land a certain way instead of just going where I blow them. Uh, I normally, I normally shoot about six inches away or something like that. So I'm going to shoot it at 10. This will be the drop coat and I got my clear mixed up. I don't need much clear. I mean, it's I'm gonna do two coats, do a, a light coat and then a heavy coat. It's the bottom of a trunk lid, so it's not gonna get a lot of abuse in its lifetime, probably. Anyway, that's all I was gonna say. Let me shoot this one. So there it is without the clear. You can see how textured it looks. Plenty of dents, little Bondo work. Uh, that's just how I got it, so. It's the bottom of a trunk lid, I don't really care. But I do wanna see what the color is. It look, looks pretty cool. Um, I think I got good coverage on that second coat, but I wanted to do that third just to see what it would look like. And I'll know what to expect my car looks like. Also, I have to look at this in the daylight. All right, I'm gonna attempt the first coat of clear, see what happens here. Just asking them to be friends. That's all.
There she is painted. That's actually a dent somewhere right there. Yeah. But pretty slick for there's one bug. I assumed I'd get a bug since it's I'm painting outside and I'm in Arkansas. But I feel pretty good about it. It is the next day. And That looks great. It only tells me that if I keep getting good paint finishes like that, I'll have to start doing better body work. It's been two days. I just brought this thing outside. I'm pretty pleased with that. It is not B5 blue. It's a little bit darker, but as far as I can tell, there it is. Uh, it's a nice blue. I'd like a car to be that color. It's almost like Terry Mayer's car. I want to be like him when I grow up. But anyway. Thank y'all for watching.